You know, I just realized that me and Irma kind of have the same hairstyle. I wonder if that means we're, like, interconnected in some way. Maybe she's us from the future, or an alternate time period, and we must team up to stop a catastrophic future from falling upon the world of Almia and something. Ah, scratch that. Time travel in a Pokemon side game would never work out. Good morning, everybody. It's been and Beyond. Welcome you back to the world of Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia. In the last episode, side quest, side quest, side quest. You all know what happened. Oh, wait. We got a Piplup. I guess that was kind of important. In this episode, main story, main story, main story. Funny joke, hee hee, haha, smile. Winky face. Good morning, dear. Did you sleep well? Today's the day. We will finally get to test the blue gem's power. Escort me to the rooftop, please, dear. Oh, we're her traveling companion this time. Okay, then. I have developed a special amplification system for this test. The system draws from the vitality of our Tree of Harmony. There's a dais for placing the blue gem. You see it, yes? The goal is to project the blue gem's power throughout all Almia. Great sentence structure right there. That should render ineffective the blasted Gekirmo and the devious Minirmo systems. Jenny, the job of setting the blue gem is yours, of course. Now hurry up! Chop chop! Alright, Piplup, get in there. No, not really. Incoming report! The Pokémon rampaging in Puel Town have settled down. They return to their usual selves. Oh, please wait. I'm receiving another report over the wireless system. Wow! There were Pokémon being forced to march in the Vien Forest. What are you talking about? I spent all day yesterday in the Vien Forest. I didn't see no marching Pokémon. They've come to their senses. They appear to be free of control. Aha! Just as I thought. It's a resounding success. The blue gem has the wonderful power of negating the Shadow Crystal's power. Incidentally, what is taking place with the Dark Shard there? Anything? Is this meter here? Uh, let's see. Oh, super, super! It's working! The Dark Shard's power has gone down! But what's wrong here? The power has dropped to zero. It's not even close. It's gone down by a third, maybe? Is that a success? Uh-oh, I'm getting bad news. There are still many Pokemon under control in the Vian Forest. Oh no, please wait a moment. Another piece of bad news is coming in through my earphone. It was reported that the Pokemon in Puel Town recovered their senses. Now they're starting to fall back under hypnosis again. Why isn't it working? The Blue Gem's power isn't enough? Its effect is incomplete? Is our Blue Gem plan a failure? Oh? What is this? It's so pretty. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! My chest is shiny too! Now what have we here? You shiny people! <laughs> step closer to the Dark Shard! Don't stand there in a daze! Murph, you step closer too! Oh wow! It's the brilliant shine of youth! <laughs> It's getting brighter. It's too bright. Oh, now what's this? The dark shard is growing transparent. And, oh, the meters dropped to zero this time, the way I'd hoped. Linda and Rhythmy, tell me, what exactly are you hiding in your chest? <laughs> is it maybe the yellow pendant that's shining? The pendant that was a gift from Sven. It's a souvenir from the Haruba Desert. It's probably something he only gave to me. What did you say? My red pendant is a gift from Sven too. It's a souvenir from Boyle Land. Are you implying something? My pendant is prettier than yours, Linda. So what if it's pretty? My pendant is bigger than yours. Prettiness is more important. No, no, it's not. It's size. You're simping for Sven, really? Stop that! Enough of your silly squabbling. There is something far more important, the reaction that resulted from the three pendants being close together. More precisely, the three colored stones brought that reaction about. The three stones harmonized to negate the power of darkness, I suspect.
That said, how do we proceed? Hmm. I must have time. I need to investigate matters. Until Professor Hastings is done studying, the Rangers are asked to mount patrols. Please do your best to address the fears and concerns of our citizens. When you are finished patrolling, please report back to me. Looks like we're going to have to do more side quests right after doing some other side quests. Let's see what we got available to us today. We have... A lot of check marks. We have none? Nani? Nani the fruit? Really? Okay. So we're not doing side quests. Can I just report back now? I guess not. Okay. Uh, well, we did hear about stuff going on in Puel Town and Vian Forest, so maybe we could go there. Uh, otherwise, unless we get like a cutscene or something, I'm afraid I'm a bit lost here, game. Just head down a little bit. See, maybe as soon as we exit, there'll be a magical thing happening. There's so many stairs, so many escalators, not enough eels. Though we don't really want the eels, we only want the escalators. Hello. I've decided I'm going to finally speak my mind today. These awful incidents make it too unsafe to be going outside. You demand to know what the Union is doing about our concerns. We have a right to our complaints heard. You're kind of cute. Ugh, okay, thanks. I'll choose President Blake Hall is supposedly upset over the Pokemon instance, too. Do they say they're Team Dim Sun? What do they want to do? That Pokemon are suffering the most from all this. Okay, we're starting to cause a bit of concern because... Uh, even though we've been doing a good job, it still isn't resolving anything in the long run. Because the Pokemon are still suffering everywhere. I can understand why everyone would be upset about that. Let's see if we could make a difference. We could go ahead and catch our star after in one cycle without uh, having to worry about its attacks anymore, which is nice. Don't know if we're going to go flying anywhere, though, right away. Let's just head down a little bit. And see if there's anyone else that we could talk to. Well, I went and checked out Puel Town in the Vien Forest, and there was nothing there for me. So I'm a bit confused as to what they want me to do. Was it just going outside, talking to all the people, and then coming back in to report that we have an angry mob in front of our building? Was that it? If so, that's a bit Akotaka. There was no cutscene that led into it. Or anything like that. All the characters looked exactly the same. That one with was flirting with me. But, I don't know. Well, everyone is gone now, so I guess stuff has changed. I guess that's all we really needed to do, is just leave the building and come back in, which is kind of awkward. Uh, let's see if we can find Irma. <laughs> Are you finished patrolling, dear? I guess so. Maybe they expected me to do the side quests now instead of yesterday. Thank you for the effort, dear. Professor Hastings wishes to go over the next mission with you. He should be waiting in the research room on the second floor. All Mia and Pokemon need us. We mustn't let up now. I've decided on the next mission for you, too. According to Brighton's diary, the Tears of Princes could be obtained elsewhere. Old documents also hinted that the stones could be found away from Haya Valley. The colored stones are also found in the Haruba Desert and Boyle Land, but rarely. The pendants that Linda and Rhythmy had are probably made of Tears of Princes. Jenny, I want you to head for Boyle Land. Search for the Red Crystal, from which the Red Tears of Princes presumably came. Keith, you are to go to the Haruba Desert and investigate the Yellow Tears of Princes. Determine if there is indeed a Yellow Crystal from which the colored stone came. If either of you find the red or yellow crystal, secure it immediately. These missions are far more important than anything you've ever been assigned. Jenny took on a mission, a mission, a mission, a very important mission from Professor Hastings. I'm off to the Haruba Desert. Jenny, you're going to Boyle Land. Let's wish each other safety and success. I actually know where this place is before we actually need directions for it, even though we've already been there, so I don't really need directions for it, though knowing me I would probably still need directions for it because I always forget where everything is. It's kind of interesting that like I have a contrast of knowledge, like I said, everyone has a contrast of knowledge, but um, it's just like I'm absolutely terrible with directions, but like last episode I had the amazing foresight of being able to predict exactly what Pokemon were going to be needed for quests that I didn't even remember. I'm like, oh, this is the only Pokemon in this area, so obviously it's going to be important for something. It wasn't just for filling up the stinking 
a thing to Mahuzi, not the browser. It's obviously going to be for a quest, and I was right. So it all worked out. Let's go ahead and get that experience again, and we'll just fly over to Boil Land. Easy peasy. Excuse me, easy squeezy, mac and cheesy. That's the only way to go. If you peas the lemon squeeze, I don't, I don't associate with you. I only hang out with the people who squeeze the mac and cheese, if you know what I'm saying. Does anyone know what I'm saying? Like, at any point, ever? Not sure how Star Raptor was able to carry a Probo Pass, but whatever. Mission, get the red gem. I thought I went to sleep mode for a second. I was like, what the fruit? So we head up here. My mom! Our mime junior can be a handful. Seeing that makes my head spin. Hmm? Another of those criminal scoundrels has come along. Where the fruit are you going, old man? Maybe he just walks in there all slow like. You, be gone at once! You've come to kidnap our mime junior again, haven't you, you wretched dim son, you? Grandpa, that's not right, is it? Eh? A ranger of Pokemon, you say? Why, yes, indeed you are. Anyone wearing a uniform looks like a dim sun to me these days. But oh yes, on closer inspection, I see you are most definitely a ranger of Pokemon. Great way of wording it. Our Mime Junior's taken to spinning around endlessly. Perhaps he sees rangers as Pokemon as heroes. Our Mime Junior has been acting up that way since returning from the cargo ship. He's mimicking a ranger's capture disc, I'm sure. Lately, I can't wait for a new day to arrive. Okay, just random Fisher dude in here. It's like Fisher Price, which makes no sense. Okay, whatever. As if anything I ever say makes sense. Hello, Mime Junior. How you doing, buddy? My Mime! And of course, Bidoof. Bidoof! Okay, so they're just having fun and whatnot. It's nice to see that they're keeping things in high spirits. Now, where do we go exactly? Hello. We never got to check out this door now that I think about it. It's an old door made of iron. There's a padlock on it. Uh, can we, like, get in? I guess not. We may have to speak to the Elder. She's a princess. If you want to learn about that sort of folklore, it's best to ask the locals. But what I want to know is if you tried opening the door to the cave's right side. Have you checked it? There was a padlock on the door? I didn't know that at all. That's interesting. I saw them on the cover of the all many times. They had a big feature on you. Your ranger pose looked totally radical. A red pendant? You must mean the pendant they make as a souvenir of Boyle Land. They make it out of small stone shards named Tears of Princes. That reminds me of a fairy tale about Boyle Volcano. It told of a prince dressed in all red who lived somewhere inside the volcano. Explorers in the past tried to see if there was any truth to the tale, but through many tried, they were all forced back before long. Well, I shouldn't be surprised, not with magma boiling over anywhere. Nowadays, the cave's entrance on the right side is behind a locked door. That's the side mentioned in the prince's legend. You can't go in without the village elder's permission now. Okay, that's all I needed to hear. Let's head inside and get the permission. What's that about, Red Prince? The right hand side of the cave. You want in, but it's not open. Little Timmy's stuck down a well. You say you want to get the key to the door. Hmm. I can't make heads or tails of what you're saying. By the way, would you like to see the right side of the cave? Oh my god. I can unlock the padlock to the door on the right. Think nothing of it. The Pokemon of Boyland are indebted to you. You go ahead while I find the key. We shall meet at the entrance of the right side. Yes, I know where the stinking cave is. Okay, I think that was more sort of a joke than just being, like, cheeky, being, like, with giving us directions. Okay, let's head back up here again. Oh, there you are, Ranger of Pokemon. Sorry to make you wait. Let me open that for you. Clink, click. Mm, this is rather tricky. Clink, click. If it's not this key, then it must be this one here. Mm, perhaps this ancient key is the correct one? That didn't work either. Forget about the redstone. That solves everything. Oh my god. 
Grandpa, the key to the padlock is right here. It was a strain around Mime Jr.'s neck. As a neck? That's it. I'm sorry, Ranger. This is the right key. Oh, there we go. No trouble to open at all. You watch out for flame spouts. I really didn't know this, but... Magma is... Hot, isn't it? You live on a fire island and you didn't know that magma was hot. Okay. Sure. That sounds like something I would say, but whatever. Oh, here we are in the volcano cave. Voicemail, voicemail. This is Wendy calling. Where's McDonald's? I don't remember. Let me give you a piece of advice. If you're exploring Boyle Volcano, capture Pokemon that could swim on magma. Understood? Uh, could Torkoal swim on magma by any chance? Let's find out. Capture on! Another old friend from an old LP. Let's see if Torkoal is the friend we need. Did not mean for that to rhyme! Oh, so close. It's so far away. Piplup's probably going to be really good for this area because it's filled with lava, in case you couldn't tell. Or magma, whatever. It's like in the ground. It's magma, whatever. Magma flow. I assume that means we could walk on lava with Torkoal. Kind of a small Pokemon to be riding, though. I'd be kind of worried about that. But then again, if I'm allowing a Drifloon to just carry me over lava, I guess I'd be fine with a Torkoal. Uh, but yeah, let's go. I got those the only Pokemon here, and they felt the need to give us the tutorial on look for a Pokemon to help you swim through the magma. And Torkoal's a lot quicker. Hey, another Pokemon old friend from an old LP. Now we're gathering up the Hoenn team, it seems. Uh, let's see. Anything else around here? We got Bagon. We got a pathway. I like also how it's shown as water on the screen. Uh, that's probably point of progress, so I will go back this way and jump off. Thanks, Torkoal. See you again. Okay, let's go ahead and get all these new friends with us. Got ourselves bacon. Now it's bacon. It's like bacon. It's a French croissant dino thingy. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's ours. Level 1 tackle. Not that impressive. I know this is just like trying to fill out the Pokedex and giving us different variety and whatnot, but like questioning why they're giving us the level 1 characters still because they don't seem to be all that helpful nowadays, but I guess we can also use it for uh, Poke Assist if we actually use them. But knowing me, I probably never will. That's a really strong over-the-top attack, wouldn't you say, Hariyama? Okay, we're good. Get all these S ranks, though, which I am very much appreciative of. It's level 3 Crush, okay. Get that S rank. And we need ourselves another Torkoal, most likely. So let's go ahead and get this friend. Collecting all the friends. Capture on. Let's charge this up. All around. Okay, good. Very, very close. So yeah, how have y'all been doing lately on this fine splendiferous whatever day this gets uploaded on? Uh, some news got dropped, leaked recently, where um we we're getting more and more rumors regarding the release of uh we need level two soak. Uh, we're getting more and more rumors regarding the release of um. The great Ace Attorney uh, getting localized in America, and I I want it to be true. But, like it just sounds so out there. Like why would they be localizing the 3DS spin-off games along with the original trilogy? I know they love releasing the trilogy, but like it's already on the Switch. So why would they release it again on the Switch with the stinking of uh, Thanum Hoozy with two spin-offs? It doesn't make sense, but I wanted to so badly because I wanted to play those games forever. Oh my god, that'd be so stinking amazing. I will cry so stinking much if that happens, because I, well, I don't know anything about the game, but I feel like it will probably be the only hope I have for a positive, enjoyable Ace Attorney experience, because I have not had one in a very long time, which is unfortunate, but uh, whatever. I guess we'll see. But you soak on this rock, and then do we have to use Crush afterwards to crush the rock? Uh... I was joking, game. Of course, we actually have to. Now we need to level two crush. Ariyama, go ahead and do it. Love its big old ham hands. 
And up here is a shell gun. The middle form. I don't know, it just looks funny to me. It's just like a big ball. Let's go ahead and charge it up. Ooh, it's using rollout like a Sonic or something. Get that Pokemon. There we go. I'm just like thinking in time to think about like all the amazing games. Like last year was also a really good year for video games, but this one is also just on the ball considering like everything that's going on. So I can only imagine like what else we could have gotten on top of that. Uh, Drift Blim is going to be in this area. Okay, duly noted. Unless they actually want me to go all the way back to the sinking ruins and get one. I would not put it... Well, actually, no, I would put it past them. Or I just wouldn't expect that of them. Because this game has more class than that. So, I'll just remember that for later. If I can. Maybe it's part of a side quest or something like that. And we just head over here. Because we did see... Oh yeah, here's Drift Blim. Right here. Buddy. Well, I can't get up there right now. But I'll remember you for later. We have so many good games coming out this year. We got Persona 5 Strikers coming out this month of uh, me recording this. Uh, what's it called? Bravely Default 2, which I really wanted to try and beat Bravely Second. But, like, there's just no way it's going to happen. Bravely Default came at a really good time for me because it was like during high school and I had nothing else to do for like a lot of the time I was there. So I uh, played through that. And, hey, another evolution. It's Flareon, as you would expect in a fiery area. Uh, but it's... Uh, it came at a very good time, and that was probably the only reason I was able to beat it. And Bravely Second, I just have not been able to get too far in. I don't know uh, how far I am progress-wise. I kind of just want to, like, grind to level 99 or something. like, Or just not level 99, but like, a high enough level to where I don't have to care about battles. Like, at all. So that I could just, like, breeze through the rest of the game. But who knows. And now we got a new game that's coming out soon, so I'm probably just not gonna get it right away because it doesn't come with a special bonus edition which is awesome i'm really happy actually that doesn't come with a special edition that i don't have to worry about because if you know my brotherly default story then uh you know i'm all about that bonus edition life or just the history i have with that oh uh, what else is coming out uh battle and wonder world's coming out next month and i've i know i've heard mixed reviews about it um as soon as the demo dropped well not mixed i've heard like drastically negative reviews of it which is unfortunate but um, I'm hoping it's gonna be one of those things where it's just like it's misunderstood or it's just like hard to convince people to uh, get into it because Knights is a very weird thing to try and convince people to get into because it's very unconventional. I don't think it's a broken game. I think it's just like you have to understand what this game is doing. You have to understand its rules. You can't compare it to anything else because of how different it is. So a lot of things that people just aren't used to they think it's an issue but in reality it's just like it's the children who are wrong. No. Like it's something you just gotta accept for what it is because it's different um but yeah just hoping that it ends up being a case like that where uh balan isn't broken it's just a different experience that uh people it'll resonate with some people but other people it might get lost on but hopefully they'll understand a bit more over time so i'm hoping for anyway i don't remember if we've gotten a charmeleon yet we can certainly try of oh, ouch. We could try and avoid that in the process. Let's see. Have we gotten a Charmeleon? Survey says. Uh, no. It's our first time getting Charmeleon. Cool. Got a level 2 burn. Not all that impressive in this area, though. We've got, like, a bunch of fire types already. Let's head over this way. And this leads us to the Drift Blim, I believe. You could just skip this altogether if you came here with a Drift Blim, but I did not, so... Uh, let's go ahead and get this guy. So yeah, I'm hoping that Battle Wonder World ends up being good. Or <laughs> just, I hope I'm able to enjoy it, because I wasn't on the internet around the time when Knight's Journey of Dreams came out, so I don't know what the reception to it was. I know the reception to it now, like, even Knight's fans tend to, like, be very lukewarm towards that game. They don't really have much positive things to say about it, aside from, oh, the music's amazing, which it is, but it's just, like, that's the only good thing you could ever get out of people, it seems. But, I don't know, I'm hoping that I'm, I'll am i still be able to reson have a story like this resonate with me at this point in time in my life. I'm, part of me is wondering if I was only able to resonate with Knights because of the age I was and the time that it came into my life. And I'm also just wondering whether or not that's an okay thing. I'm just like, I should be okay with that, but part of me is just like, kind of sad about that because I don't want that feeling to leave me at any point. 
So who knows, maybe I wouldn't have enjoyed Persona 5 if I played it younger, but now that I've played it at an older point in my life, now I was able to uh, enjoy it and understand it a lot more. Who knows? Uh, let's see. Level 3 burn, level 2 burn. Uh, $2, Bob. $2, Bob, is what they say. Get out of here, Charmeleon. Let's go ahead and uh, walk on the lava again. Which sounds very cool. Or the magma, excuse me. Whatever. Same stinking difference. I guess we could get Hariyama again, but knowing that there's going to be like more Pokemon up on the next floor anyway, so... Yeah, that was me debating whether or not to get Hariyama. I gotta get Hariyama, he's an old friend. Okay, got Hariyama, and I got a right you to fully heal my Styler, which is nice. Just right up here with Driftblim now. Not sure how you're able to carry all these Pokemon, but whatever. I'm not gonna question it, even though I already just did. 